tomorrow, the two candidates for Virginia's governor will square off in their first debate. Democrat Cree Deeds and Republican Bob McDonnell will take part in the Virginia Bar Association gubernatorial debate at the Homestead Resort in Hot Springs tomorrow morning. The two ran against each other for attorney general four years ago, with McDonnell winning a very close election. And joining us now to discuss tomorrow's debate is JMU political analyst Dr. Bob Roberts. Thanks for joining us. Glad to be here. Now, what do you think the hot topics will be tomorrow? Transportation, uh, rest stops maybe. We might get some discussion of rest stops and how to fund Virginia's uh, decaying road system. Uh, Business-friendly Virginia, how business-friendly is Deeds, how business-friendly is McDonald. Uh, the budget, which is not in good shape. Those will probably be the three topics uh, that they'll, they'll be asked about. Now, when we talk about transportation, uh, Mr. McDonald has come out with a pretty extensive transportation plan recently. Um, yeah, but I, it's, it's taken a lot of flack because he's thinking of selling state liquor stores, right. which is, does not, is not very popular because communities use that for money they get from sales of liquor, and people are afraid that you'll have a liquor store in every block. Right. Uh, he's taking money out of the general fund to fund transportation, and there's not a lot of support for that because most of that general fund money goes for education. Okay. So that transportation plan of his hasn't gone over very well. And uh, another thing that I noticed in his transportation plan, it called for tolls on at the North Carolina border. Right, and that may be unconstitutional. Really? Uh, yes, absolutely. And okay. in other words, there's a serious constitutional question, can you toll, put tolls and may it interfere with interstate commerce? So uh, if it's somewhat perceived to be discriminatory, it may not pass constitutional muster. It didn't really have any tax increases. In no. It. Now, Republic what about Deeds? Has he come out with a transportation Deeds plan? Deeds really hasn't really come out with a, a he, he says we're going to spend more, more, more money more efficiently. Uh, he's going to look at maybe some other regional transportation authorities, which we, the same issues that the Democrats have been proposing in the past. Okay. So they may talk transportation. You think the rest areas will come up? I think it may. In other words, why are you shutting down rest areas and in terms of why can't you find $9 million? Depending on the audience, we're asked the question. So well, actually, happen. both of them have come out saying that right. within, actually, it sounded like, you know, I can name that tune in, right. in so many days because uh, Bob McDonald <laughs> said, I will reopen the rest areas right. in 90 days. And then Craig Deed said, I'll reopen them in 60 right. days. And the question is, why don't you open them up now? And well, I think but, that, but they can't do anything about that, yeah, right? But then Although the, I guess it puts Deeds in a bad deeds spot. Deeds in a bad spot because the governor could do it, and in a sense, if you have any co friends, you know, any pressure, you can put pressure on Governor Kane to open up the rest stop. So it, if that co question comes up, it may put Deeds in a difficult spot. Okay. Now you talked about um, debates. Debate. There's a debate over the debates, right? Absolutely. They can't agree on how to debate. Uh, McDonald wants ten debates all over the state. Uh, Deeds wants forums primarily in the urban areas, and they're fighting back and forth over those things. So it doesn't look like they're going to really reach an, reach an agreement on that. Um, the e economic development, uh, how do you see it that? Is, uh, McDonald's was pounding Kane for about a week or the last two weeks that he's not, Virginia isn't business friendly. Lo and behold, CNBC comes out and rates uh, Virginia as number one business friendly. So it's going to be very difficult for McDonald to push that issue anymore since CNBC has rated Virginia the most business-friendly state in the country. Okay. Now, as far as uh, differentiating between the two, what are the major points that they can look at and say, I'm different than he is? The major point, these, we'll do things to make things better. We'll look at different experimentation. We might look at different revenue sources. The Republicans are going to be accused of only looking backwards. They may think say they're going to change things, but they're not. In a sense, if you want to go back, vote for the Republicans. If you want to go forward, vote for the Democrats. That's what Deeds is going to say. Will the uh, Republican uh, House take a hit? Is, is that going to be, how, how does it get framed in the governor's race, which Kane, I guess, has tried to do, saying that House Republicans won't spend money we need? Right. In a sense, if you want your problem solved, don't vote for Republicans. If you want your problem solved, vote for Democrats. On the other hand, the Republicans are saying that Democrats haven't done a very good job managing the fiscal condition of the state. We are these serious budget deficits. Every couple of months, the situation gets worse. Democrats are not managing the state very well. So the Republicans are going to counter that we could do more with the money we have. All right. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Yep. TV3 will have a reporter at the debate tomorrow in Hot Springs. We'll have a full report tomorrow night, so tune in for that. I want to thank Bob Roberts thank uh, from JMU for joining us. And now let's send it back.